I've mentioned before that one of the challenges I like giving pupils and myself is to ask them to give me words or ideas or phrases at random and for me to then go away and write a poem about it. I've done that in class as well, um, but that's, that's a slightly different exercise and there's always the risk of it not working, um, which itself is a good lesson to learn. Not everything works. Another lesson, of course, is that it takes time to edit and you don't always have that in class. These two poems and the short story were the result of setting that challenge to a year six class. They were a particularly good class, as you'll probably gather when you hear the poems, because they're not all that easy. They came um, out of the two suggestions, one from a girl, Maisie, who suggested the lovely image of a winter's moon, and a boy, Lewis, who gave a very surprising um, idea, the idea of a grown-up going back to school and wishing they could be young again. So, well, the end result was uh, um, two poems, one fairly traditional, the other free verse, neither of which is particularly easy, as I've mentioned, but they were written for a year six class. That should give you an idea of how good the class was. The short story um, is the actual origin of the idea, where the idea came from, because it is something that happened to me when I was a lad. So both poems are written from experience, which itself, of course, is a very, very useful source of ideas for any type of writing. Poetry, prose, drama, whatever. Poem number one. Harsh words hurt at the best of times, but when you're young, they can hurt a lot more. A careless comment and the damage is done, lasting for years, a wound open and sore. As cold and heartless as any winter's moon, casting shadows upon the snow, obscuring traces of any track, leaving only one option, to press onwards even though you would dearly love to return to one transformative moment when a few harsh words propelled your life into the hands of haphazard fate. Second poem, using free verse. Children are resilient, but take nothing for granted. Don't assume that an action or word will be brushed off as easily as snowflakes settling not lightly as from the stars, but ice hard as from a winter's moon. No matter the consequences and shattered dreams of childhood, there is never any going back to find what was lost. No return is ever possible to a moment when everything changed. Life is a one-way street. And the short story. It was 20 years ago, 20 years, I've never forgotten what happened. It was a nothing special sort of day, English first, then maths. It was English that changed everything. I had spent my weekend writing the story. I was looking forward to my teacher's comments. I knew I'd done well. He entered the classroom, clutching our essays. This is it, I thought. Sturgis, he bellowed, what were you thinking? How can you have a wall of fog? Without saying anything else, he threw my essay at me. And that was that. He crushed my boyish dreams of being a writer. I was too young to ignore the brutality of his contempt. Yet here I am again on this cold winter's evening, the winter's moonlight glinting on every footstep in the snow. Tomorrow I'll be back, wishing I could relive that day and stand up to my teacher. But tomorrow I can try to make things better for others when I start work here, teaching English. <laughs>